Hey, Diego. Oh, hello, duck. Oh, hey. Hello there. It's been a while, friends. Oh, I'm dropping cactus. So today, what I want to talk about with y'all is, God, dropping more cactus. How to properly feed a tortoise. Now, this is going to be a little bit vague because I'm not going to be concentrating on any one particular species of tortoise. I can't even get into mine right now because they're right here at the gate. But we're going to be kind of talking about kind of what to look for with each, uh, you know, each specific species or type of tortoise um, to give them the proper diet, which is going to not only allow them to thrive and be as happy and healthy as possible, but it'll also ensure that they grow properly. Um, it helps when it comes to pyramiding um, and just the overall health of your tortoise. Um, so let's just kind of get right into it. So here you can see we've got our lovely Aldabras and their lovely dirty water. That's from dirt. It's not poop, I promise. Uh, but that is something that's going to be getting cleaned out today. Um, so Aldabra tortoises are actually more of a, like a grassland tortoise, um, which very similar to diet-wise to like sulcatas. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Russian tortoises, which are very common in the pet trade, are also another type of grassland tortoise. Uh, with tortoises like these, it's, they, you can't feed them like your standard tortoise because their digestive system is designed for lower nutrient food. Hence this big old pile of hay they got right here. Um, so their systems are designed for these for lower lower nutrient food. So they eat in the wild their grasses, weeds, things like that and it stays in their digestive system for a long time. Why we got some angry iguanas over here? Are you being a butthole? Ricky? Yeah, I know, I love how you're saying yes, that you're being a butthole. Gotta love it. I love my iguanas. Um, but yeah, so because of that, because of that food stays in their digestive tract for an extended period of time to extract all those nutrients, when you start feeding them heavily, heavily nutrient-rich foods all the time, it's going to overload their system. These ducks are so annoying. We got one over there just, I don't know what that one's doing. So, you know, with these guys, let's say, so if I were to feed them, you know, greens and different fruits and vegetables and things like that on a, a continuous basis, on a normal basis, it's going to over, overload their system to where, you know, I mean, one, their systems just aren't designed for that kind of nutrient intake but then it's gonna cause them potentially to grow even faster than they're supposed to. And that can start causing pyramiding issues, which anyone that keeps tortoises, you know, pyramiding is the one thing you're gonna see over and over and over and over and over again is how to prevent pyramiding and things to do um, to help prevent that. So diet is gonna be your most important so that way they can grow at the rate they're supposed to grow so that way they don't get that pyramiding. So these grassland tortoises like these guys, you know, as when they're younger, it's a little bit different because they're not going to be eating, you know, grasses and hay and stuff like that. Um, so you got to be careful, not something where you need to do your research for your given tortoise. But these guys, typically, they're going to be on a diet of hays, grasses, um, the occasional Missouri chow, because that stuff does have a lot of nutrients in it. Um, Missouri tortoise chow is good for all of them. Um, I do a lot of cactus pads. These things are incredibly healthy for them. They're, they got a lot of nutrients, but not an overload of them. So that's actually the staple that my Aldabras eat. Um, we go through, you know, roughly 10 pounds of um, cactus pad a week, and I could go, they could definitely eat more, but I like giving them the low and slow, kind of like barbecues, like how I like growing my animals, um, especially with these guys though. When you get into other types of tortoises, so another really common one in the pet trade are redfoot tortoises or, you know, cherry heads, which are just another variation. Um, they are not a grassland tortoise. They are a forest tortoise. Um, well, typically you're gonna find them in forests, but different localities, yada, 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 yada. They, on the other hand, are used to eating more nutrient-rich food. So you're gonna see, you know, with their diets, a lot more of the greens, different veggies. I mean, cactus pad's still good for them. The Missouri tortoise chow. Um, even, you know, some species actually animal protein. You know, so you start looking at People will uh, give boiled chicken, earthworms. There's um, some different stuff that a lot of these tortoises will do. Because in the wild, I mean, including grassland tortoises, I forget the the, the term, uh, carrion. That's what it is, so like dead animals. 
if they're going around the flooring and they find a dead animal, they'll actually take bites out of it. So that's not something necessarily going to go and get some steak and, and go give it to them, you know, but like certain ones like red foots, they actually do require the occasional protein. Um, hey Diego. Oh, hello duck. Cookie, you're a pain in the butt. Cookies are uh, Muscovy, Muscovy, however you pronounce it. And he, she, we still don't, I don't know the gender because it won't make a sound. So I can hear it's quack and it doesn't have a tail curl, so I don't know. But it's the only one that can fly. <laughs> so that's good. She gets annoying. But uh, anyway, so tortoises. So yeah, so like something like a red foot, cherry head and all that, they're going to need that occasional animal protein um, to mix in with their diet as well as those higher nutrient foods. Um, so really just... You know, this is kind of a real short and sweet video here, but, uh, but re you got to research the type of tortoise you have, of course. You know, we talk about research and knowing what kind of diet you really need for them. But another important thing to, to look at, are you crazies, is, uh, yeah, is where they're from, what their natural habitat is. Um, and that's going to actually answer a lot of questions on how to properly feed them. Um... I'll see now that I'm out of the cage, they want to just, they want to just go crazy in there. Yeah, so even the, even the tortoises that are, that have that higher nutrient need, you still don't want to overdo them. Because again, that's just something else that goes into pyramiding. You know, any, any animal, well, any animal, if you feed them too much of a good thing, even with humans, too much of a good thing is never a good thing. So tortoises especially, got to be really, really careful with their food intake. Um, of course, there are other aspects that go into pyramiding. That's not really what we're talking about today. You know, humidity and all sorts of other stuff. But yeah, it's very important to, to know what kind of tortoise, where, where they're from. And again, whether they're a grassland tortoise, forest tortoise, a scavenger, a scavenging tortoise, which I guess all of them technically really are scavenging, but you understand what I'm saying. You just got to know what their natural diet consists of in the wild. And then you want to try to replicate that um, from a nutrient standpoint in captivity. Um, you know, the Russians, Hermans, and then like Redfoot, Cherryfoots, those are going to be your most common in the pet trade. You have Sulcatas, which are very common in the pet trade, which is very unfortunate because they're the most heavily abused tortoise. Um, Know, know your animal, know where they come from, know what their natural diet consists of, and that's gonna allow you to take care of your animals better in the long run. That's why with my Aldabras, you know, one thing I take a lot of pride in with these guys are those shells. You know, they are round as round can be. There's no pyramiding whatsoever on any of their shells because I'm, I'm very careful and meticulous about how I'm feeding them and what I'm feeding them to, to make sure they just they're as healthy and just as perfect as possible um, so yeah so I just keep saying it over and over again hoping it'll stick do your research any animal not just tortoises whether you get an iguana bearded dragon snakes other types of lizards do your research learn everything you can about those animals research what their natural habitat is like research what their natural diet is like and then use the resources you have available to you locally wherever you are to do your best to meet those nutritional needs and habitat needs and you're just going to have a much much happier healthier animal or in this case tortoise because we're talking about tortoises here i mean it just doesn't get much better than that these guys are just munching down on their cactus loving life outdoors look how big fredward's getting so fredward is if i can get my finger into the camera where's my lens there it is fredward is that big boy right up there that looks like a bowling ball he is just getting to what is happening down here. What are y'all doing? Why are y'all making so much noise? Gosh darn chickens. And just another look here at Ricky and Lucy. Another look here at our Diego boy with some greens on his face. Um, but yeah, everyone, so in a nutshell, there we go. There you have it. Um, you know, if you have any additional questions on something I might be able to answer for you, definitely please, 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 I don't know how to talk. Please comment down below um, and let me know what your, what your favorite species of tortoise is. You know, I'm, I'm partial to my Aldabras, but, you know, let me know what your favorite species is and uh, gbliguanas.com.
go and get your merch. We greatly appreciate it. Everything that we get from that just goes back into taking care of the animals. We don't actually take a profit to go out and go on vacations and do blah, 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 blah. It's just all strictly for, for the animals. So we greatly appreciate it. Um, so yeah, thanks y'all for watching and I'll catch you next time.